In competition for the cutest game coming to PC is Ooblets, a charming game about farming and adventure. I'm here with Greg Rice from Double Fine. Greg, how's it going? Going good. Final day. Thanks for having me. Of course. Glad to be yeah. talking about Ooblets. So uh, this is the game. It's a, it's a two-person team. Really charming. What's Ooblets all about? Uh, Ooblets is like all your favorite games mashed into one. So it's like a little bit of Animal Crossing, a little Pokemon, a little bit of Harvest Moon. So it's like RPG, town sim, farming sim wrapped up in a cute package. You know, I had a chance to play it, and you know, you're, you're collecting these Ooblets as you, as you encounter them in combat. Sometimes you're collecting seeds, going back to your farm. And, and growing them. The next day you wake up and they're ready to join your team. Yeah, and you've got your whole house to kind of like decorate. It's a lot of customization of your character and your ooblets, and then it's fighting them, leveling them up to get new seeds to grow new ooblets. So how does the how does the progression work in compared to say a Stardew Valley or a Harvest Moon? Kind of what does the the end game, so to speak, look like for ooblets? Yeah. I think it, we want it to be a, a space people just want to hang out in. So I think there will be a, a longer term game where you can kind of just endlessly farm and go about your life in your town. Uh, but there will be more kind of like questing and a straight kind of storyline to go through to be able to unlock the new environments and the new ooblets that you'll be approaching. And at the outside of the game, you can join different ooblet clubs. What's sort of the, the difference there? What choice am I making? Yeah, they all just kind of have their own vibe. So there's like one that's like a little bit more girly girl and there's like an emo crew and everything. So it's kind of just like, uh, letting you kind of put your own flavor into the game. They all have their own kind of starting ooblet that they give you and everything too. There's a lot of clothing items. It seems like there's a big focus on customization like Animal Crossing. Yeah, yeah. I, I think people just love being able to dress up their character and redress up their character, change their hair their style and hair color and things like that. So we want to give people the freedom to kind of imprint themselves on the game. I don't know if you have You've established which ooblet is the cutest yet. I, I know you're actually, you grew up in Iowa, if I'm correct. You're, you know, you come from that farming background yes. a little bit. So uh, have you decided which ooblet is cutest? Oh, gosh, I don't know. They're all too cute. I mean, Shrumbo has been most people's favorite. It was the kind of the first that was shown. So we had Shrumbo pins here, and they all sold out like crazy. But they're all so cute. They're all so cute. I know the other ooblets won't hold it against you, Greg. Yeah. So when are you going to get the chance to play ooblets? Uh, it'll be hopefully next year. Uh, it's, it's a small team, small two-person team. Uh, so they're just cranking away on it, but uh, you can follow along as they do. Yeah, sounds good. If people want to learn more about the game, where should they go? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of places. So um, the main developer, Rebecca's Twitter, is at nonplayercat, and she's very vocal on there. Uh, they have a Patreon uh, for Ooblets as well, so they'd be doing updates on there uh, that are like kind of a little bit more behind the scenes. Uh, but there's ooblets.com. It's already up on a Steam page too for wishlisting and everything, so it's everywhere. All right, well, thanks a lot, Greg. Thanks.